Hi everyone, Tom again, and I'm back here at NT Labs. I'm a big fan of the NT Labs Aquarium Lab test kit, and I thought this was a perfect opportunity to look at the key parameters that we see, help you if something is perhaps not quite as it should be. The reason I'm such a fan of this test kit is it gives you all six of the main parameters ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH, KH, and GH. All very important parts of a healthy, functioning aquarium. The big one of course is ammonia, the first stage of the waste produced by our fish and also the first or second of the most dangerous. Ammonia spikes do happen, they are a part of keeping fish, they are a part of the hobby. They can happen for a variety of reasons, maybe perhaps your filter hasn't yet matured, in which case something like filter starter may be the product for you. It may be that you've recently done a big rescape, you've stirred up a lot of detritus from the bottom of the tank and you're getting a short term spike. It may be as simple as you've added too many fish in one go and it's taking your cycle a little bit of time to catch up. So what do you do? You've come down, you've tested your aquarium water, and you found that you've got an ammonia issue. First of all, consider a water change. A really, really effective way to remove that ammonia is to dilute it, replace it with fresh water. Of course, by doing that, we always make sure that we use our tap water safe for any new water that's going near our aquarium. What you may also consider, perhaps that you're going to be away for a couple of days, you want to put some extra protection in place, is to consider some ammonia remover. This works really effectively, put into a media bag, popped into your filter, and will very, very quickly start to mop up some of that excess ammonia. Great as a short-term solution to keep you and your fish safe while you're figuring out what might have gone wrong. Nitrite, again, arguably first or second in terms of toxicity. Ammonia tends to kill very, very quickly. Nitrite, a slower killer. The problem with nitrite is it binds to the blood. It stops the haemoglobin functioning correctly, prevents oxygen uptake, and leads to some serious problems for the fish. Again, dealing with it in the aquarium, we water change. Tap water safe will come to our aid here. In some cases, you may find that a fish is showing really severe symptoms of uh, nitrite poisoning, and in some cases, it may be sensible to consider the use of tonic salts, again, as a short term, to help deal with some of that nitrite toxicity. Nitrates, the last stage of our cycle, the end product of the process. Often, nitrates will be taken up by the plants, and a great way to deal with excess nitrates is to have plenty of plants in your tank that have been given enough light and enough other nutrients that they actively are taking up those nitrates as one of their macronutrients. The other option, of course, is that you maybe need to adjust your maintenance, maybe need to consider some larger water changes. pH, a measure of how acidic or basic, alkaline, your water is. Something we don't tend to change too much, pH, GH and KH generally set by what you've got coming out of your tap. Down here in Kent, where we are, tends to be much harder water, by that we mean a higher GH and KH, usually a higher pH. For those of you in the north of England, Scotland, parts of the southwest, you may find that you have softer water, lower hardness, lower pH. These three tests really are critical for knowing, one, what fish will thrive in your water, and two, helping you to understand that your maintenance is, is keeping on top and giving you that, that stability. And one of the big ones that we often see, certainly for those of you in soft water areas, is issues with KH, carbonate hardness. Now this is probably the most important parameter and the least understood. Carbonate hardness does a few things for us. First of all, it maintains the pH of our aquarium. And secondly, it's absolutely vital for maintaining your cycle. If you're in very, very soft water, then you may find that you simply don't have the carbonates that you need to maintain a pH and maintain a stable cycle, in which case you may consider boosting your KH to give you that little bit extra in your water and help give you that stability that you need moving forward. I hope this has been useful for you guys. Just a quick coverage of some of the products in the NT range that might help you. Other than that, happy fish keeping.